We're gonna, okay, so we're going to show you how to um, set up a business card in Pages. Um, this is a lot different than InDesign and any other InDesign uh, design software because they generally sort of stick to A4 size. Um, even if you even if you wanted to set up using the template, it sets up sort of eight up on an A4, which is not not good for a printer. Um, it's better to actually set the file up and the page up at business card size plus three mil bleed. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so in the top right here under <coughs> document, you um, you've got options. Now there, if you don't see your card size option on there, um, you'll want to go to file and then page setup. Um, select any printer, um, uh, and then right at the bottom here, manage custom sizes, and then basically you select new, press the plus button, type in the size 61 millimeters by, oh no, sorry, it's 91 by 61. Now, the reason why it's 91 by 61 and not 85 by 55. Uh, it's because we've added three mil bleed on all sides. So we add six mil to the the actual dimensions of the card. When you send it to a printer, you want to send it a sixty one by uh, ninety one by sixty one, um, and then they'll send you back a, a setup file with bleeding crops. Uh, unfortunately, you can't send a file with bleeding crops by via pages, but that's okay. As long as you've still got the bleed there, um, it works. It works just as good. Now I've got that already set up here, so I'm just going to click OK, uh, click OK, and then so any printer, business card, there it is, 91 by 61. Um, so we've also got headers and footers. You can see them just highlighted there. Um, let's expand this actually. It's really small. We should be able to go. Command plus zoom in. Oh, we've got a zoom here. That's, that's probably a lot better. There we go. Okay, so we've got headers there. Now unclick those because they don't play a part in a business card. Headers and footers. Um, the margins is actually eight millimeters. That's three millimeters of bleed and then five millimeters. Um, margin space around the edge of the sheet that you don't want to put any text in. So we're going to put 0 0.8 uh, across all of these, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. There we go. So that's pretty much it. That's the file set up. Now you notice I haven't created two pages, even though we've got a front page and a back page of business card, but it will it will happen, don't worry. So let's go to format now uh, and start popping in our text. Now you hit the text, this text box appears. Look, there's already uh, another page falling in there. But let's type in our text for the title of the person having the card. Print production. Yeah, that's not appearing over where. But what I'm going to do is just put this down. Actually, yeah, there you go. So there's still print production manager, and then let's create another box here. And I'm going to put our details in. Right, there we go. So, for some reason, it gives you a, a link. So, we go to edit link and just remove that because it's going to be a printed card. We don't need it to be underlined. Uh, we're going to change the text because I want my own font. So, pick a font. 
Or if you know which font you want, type it in or find it. Let's go with Railway Bold. Print Production Manager is going to be 10 points. This is actually 12 points. This I want to be 10 points, and this needs to be Railway Regular 10 points as well. Okay, and we highlight both of these and just put them in the center or slightly off center but close enough and put this little option which is quite handy that sort of lines the files up for you. Um, so when you sort of feel like you're in the middle there, you're happy with everything, you can then go ahead and edit the, the color of the text, which is here. Right, that's the color I want. This is a light gray. It's a light gray. Okay, perfect. So obviously remember you've got 85 by 55 plus the 3 mil all around the edge on this card. Now I want to create um, my logo page which is going to be in the center of the back. So we want to get, go media and then click choose or you're inserting a, an image basically. There's a logo file, insert. And there it is. Oh. And then just scale that down. Right. So it's quite difficult to see where that sits, or you know, how it sits in the but we know that that's eight mil in and three mil is gonna be kind of like there somewhere. So we're we're well in within the page. Um you'll get a proof back from your, your printer. Um, so don't panic too much. Um, put it roughly in the centre. If, if you think the logo is too big or too small, you can always adjust it and get them to reproof. Okay, so there's my coloured box. Just creating this as a background, um, and I'm going to change it to this colour here, this mustardy colour. And then right click, send it to back. Uh, and that should be it. Let's just drop that in. Okay. Document section. Uh, right. We seem to get. We always get an extra page here. So if some, it might be best to do the logo page as page one, and then you can pop this down. Because what's happened is it's created an extra page for us because it sort of like recognizes that we've put this shape here and filled it up. Uh, anyway, that's all done. I'm happy with that. So I can go file, um, export to PDF. Uh, yeah, that all looks good. Go next, and we're going to go to print videos. Uh, to print pages, call it business card, and go export. And there we go. If we minimize that, we can go into our folder. And that's the file we're going to be sending to our, our printer. Um, the free mill bleed is on the outside there. And that's all done.